We stand to sing the offertory page 192 and to offer our gifts to the Lord. Continue with the prayer of the church. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. That Almighty God who receives the praise of seas and rivers would keep us in the baptismal grace He has given us by water and the word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For maturity of faith that our Father in heaven would bless pastors, teachers, parents, and all who teach his word, and that he would give us a constant desire to hear and obey it. And we pray for the ministry of the Lakes Region Lutheran Fellowship as they seek to continue to grow and share that word with their community, and for the ministry of the Aromo ministry in our district. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For peace that God who condemns unrighteous anger as murderous and who has saved us from his righteous anger by the death of his son would move us to repentance and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For purity of heart and mind, that the Lord who created us would deliver us from lustful thoughts and the evil of pornography so that we may lead a sexually pure and decent life in what we say and do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have Lord have mercy. Mercy. For integrity, that the author of truth would preserve us from false oaths and strengthen us to acknowledge his word and do what he commands. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have have mercy. Mercy. For the rulers of our nation, that the Lord who judges all peoples in righteousness and equity would endow them with wisdom so that we are preserved from unjust division and enabled to live in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the suffering, we pray for those who are ill this day, for Brian and others, for Paul. Uh, we pray for the victims of recent earthquakes. We pray for uh, Ingrid as she awaits delivery of her child and for others, that the Lord, our life, would sustain and strengthen them. And for those who mourn, that the Lord would console them with the promise of everlasting life in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For Christian unity, that God who gives growth to the church by his means of grace would preserve his people from division and worldly wisdom, and unite us in a common confession of His truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. To Him we all give, we give all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. As our Lord has taught us, we pray. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, Thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We continue on page 201 at the bottom. The Lord be with you. Bless we the Lord, thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. 
The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. seated our closing hymn today number 400 brightest and best of the stars of the morning this morning as we celebrate the uh, sixth Sunday after the Epiphany and uh, as I said next week the end of the Epiphany season with the, kind of the pinnacle, the transfiguration of our Lord uh, before we begin the season of Lent. Um, Lent and materials. Lent and materials. Carol has put out on the table at the back so uh, get a jump start on uh, some things that you might use for devotion and other things. Mary? And we have some, excuse me, uh, there's some mailing envelopes if you want to take some for family or friends. There's a few envelopes there that fit those brochures and you can send them off. Okay, very good, thanks. And then About, uh, there's, there's some wood out there. It's, it's not hardwood, I don't think, but if anybody needs it for campfires, bonfires, or stuff like that, and you, you have a use for it. You probably don't have any trees down on your own property. <laughs> but, but anyway, it's there for the taking if anybody wants it. Uh, we're going to leave it for church members that could use it maybe for a couple weeks. And then after that, uh, if nobody's taken it, we'll probably 
uh, put out something on Facebook and just in case anybody has a need for it uh, that could make use of it. So, Mary. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Happy St. Valentine's Day. Okay, God bless.